Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back. My name is Daily Fiction. We're playing a World of Ice and Fire version 3. It has been released about a few weeks ago, but as you know, I'm busy working construction, but I'm not going to be boring you too, uh, too much with that. Um, I got a story character, a story for you, rounding up, but first things first. We are going to be starting a new game, and hopefully, hopefully it's going to be the start of something epic, you know? So, character creations, um, should we go with the HBO name? Sure. Now, hmm. So, the static war is the Westerosi factions will be locked in dip um, diplomacy according to the walls of the five kings. And on normal mode, it's the same as above, but all factions, except the Nightwatch, are free to declare war and peace as they choose. Much like normal warband. And I've done static a few times, and I really want to go to normal. Well, we're going to be playing as a male. Uh, we're, called, we're from the free cities, and yes, I would like to be a bit short. Now, my father was not an outlaw, he was the hell, he was not a lesser noble. He actually was, mm, I don't know if he was a septon though. Well, why not? Why, why the heck not? Let's go. Our father was a septon, although it will give you... Some surgery skills, I presume. No, he he was a merchant, uh, and in, in in my childhood, we uh, we were the. What were we? A retainer's apprentice. Hmm. So we were getting a bit of an education in the duties of a warrior. So that that that's quite nice. Uh, my vocation. Is um no not a free peasant not a blacksmith poacher begging brother no no thank you and not a slave should we go for a retainer uh, our faith is that of um where are you lust for money and power religion we're going to the um Oh, blah, 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 something like that. Uh, but it actually says that um, you worship the Lord of Light in a single all-powerful God. So why not? We can we can we can do that. A natural-born leader, the ability to rally your troops, even the most hopeless of them. I do believe that it it just uh, gives you a, a HP boost if you use it in battle. So let's continue. Allow me to quit without saving because um, I, I do like to save every now and then. So we've got some persuasion right off the bat, some spotting tactics. Trainer, looting free. That's actually not bad. Shields on two, athletics two. No riding. I, I really would like to get a, a mount. Uh, but the name is going to be... Oh my god. Is L... B Alberic. Let's see if I did that correctly. Yes, I did. And they've called us Stiletto. Uh, what I'm still hoping for is, is if it, I don't know if if these uh, these numerals will stop you from exporting your character. I had some issues with that in the past. Uh, with one of my um, subscribers wanting to be in the series, he had this one as well, and I could never export his character again. So I'm hoping that's not the case, but if it is, it's fine by me actually. Now, we got a bit of intelligence. I would love to get a bit of, uh, of pathfinding, um, but first things first, let's uh, just get this one up to 11. Um, no, persuasion, persuasion is always nice, pathfinding cannot get any higher than, than one, you know, all, all bits help, and once we get like a companion to do that stuff, then that's absolutely fantastic, okay, um, I want to have shield free athletics, 
and do a bit more in the um, power strike department for weapons we are really rounded up to be a knight I like it okay well, what kind of weapons do we got so we got a dagger we got a sword we got a a very very crappy shield um, now for the story I, I'm not from Westeros so I think I need this um, this is other other phase than my usual pick let's let's start off with the hair first because I want to see how it all looks with hair it could be a a bit like this. I don't like the skin. Can I go black? Yes, I can. Oh wow. Droopy, droopy face. Oh, it's so, so hard always. Yeah, why not? He looks like he has seen it all. And he has a bit of a beard. Yeah, we need a bit of a beard. Ooh. Refined, refined. So the mustache, it, it looks like um, we had a good education. But with the hair and all, we, we just hit a rough spot. We don't have to be the youngest. There's no need for that. Let's go. Okay, that's, that's good. So I'm not going to be pressing continue right off the bat. Let's go off with the story. So... Guys, a story by Elliot Storm. Uh, he's also the creator of my version 2 story. So uh, big thanks to him for giving me a story to tell on Discord. What makes a person good? Is it their ideas, beliefs, actions? The answer is no one is good. No one is bad either, if you think about it. Everyone has their own opinion about how the world works. We have the slave masters of the East, believing themselves to be superior than others, thus forcing others to be their servants, soldiers and asswipers. Then on Westeros, we have the kings and lords. Peasants who are too stupid to fight for what is theirs, while their lords get fat and do whatever the bloody hell they please. The poor peasant folk have nothing to eat at the table. Such shame. I thought Westerosi folk were... smart. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I was on a rant there for a minute about how shit the world is. My name is Elbrick. Yes, just Elbrick. But people from Marine and Bravos call me Stiletto. Now, I know, I know what you're thinking. Why the heck would they call me that? It's pretty simple, really. I stab people for other people, not for money, not for goodwill, but the fact that I can kill two bosses and take their money means I can kill two birds with one dagger. Yeah, I help the world make a... profit. Not the most honorable person in the world, but by the seven, the red god, the old gods, and the drowned god, I will mark my place in this world. <laughs> Not even a many-faced god can stop me. <laughs> I love. I, I really love how how he does that. You know, he, he has such such good good story, yeah, and he he loves them comedy stuff. You know, ah, like me, I love it. So let's get on with that. You know, we are entering into a bloody turmoil place, and um, still no audio for me. <laughs> okay, there it is. So, you, talk to me, babe. Okay, there you go. Oh no, we're being attacked. Yes, we know. Um, but it looks a bit the peasants are dying. Well, rather, rather swiftly. So, okay. Oh, yes. Well, he didn't have a, a shield. Bit of a shame. Bit of a shame. Come on. Come on, die. Die already. No. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> Come here. My shield bro my sword broke. Damn it. <laughs> Damn that sword. Damn sword. Well anyways, luckily, luckily, we have survived. Now I, I did a bit of uh, scouring out. There actually is a door down here. And as you can see here, it is a destructible target. So <laughs> if you know what it does destroy or what it leads to, uh, do do let me know. Let's see, we have a very, very little amount of money. We actually got it's all it's not that bad. So Lord Stark, um yeah, well we are going to be warning Lord Rob Stark. Because that is uh, what they want from us, right? So, let's tap out. And I'm heading up to camp because there are some options I want out. I don't really, I want to go for for costume. Um, I, I always try playing at, at high difficulty. And, and you know what? You know what? This time, this time, uh, we're, we're going to have a, a bit of a... Well, a bit something else. We could go with the combat eye on hardcore, tactical speed, just do normal campaign, hardcore. Well, perhaps we won't have you on normal. Now, Stenema itself is a great thing if you have an immense, immense Stenema or, you know, like uh, running. <laughs> but I only have a, a few amount. Gear affecting, I don't like. Shield bash is quite nice. Don't like blood loss. I want to have uh, some bodyguards. Play a stumbling. Please turn it off if you are ever going to be playing it. Uh, rest improves morale. Uh, your army needs a regular rest at an inn. Your camp, side, or settlements from time to time. Lack of rest will lower troops morale. No. No. Battle size is at the moment at 150. Uh, oh, it, it goes red there. So let's just get it up to... My god, come on. 300? Come on, can we, can we do this? This is so difficult. Oh, come on. Oh, what a bull. What bull. Okay, so I'll get it as close as 300. And I'll, I'll tingle with it later. I don't... Uh, well, actually, the cinematic menu is, is nice, but it, it really, really slows down your game. Um, if, if they ever fix that, and I will be playing with that forever. Insane difficulty. No, the gore itself. Why not? White Walkers do not invade. Why not? Novice players or cowards should probably have turned this off. Well, well you know what? If things go bad, then they won. Simple as that. Enable charge animation in battle. Turn that off because it will have your character pause for 3 to 5 seconds. It's so annoying when that actually happens. You have nothing there. So, player division uh, sets a player as commander of the chosen division. The division will set up immediately left and behind the player on hold and follow command. Well, don't really need that. Um, disable complex formations. I'll turn it off. All the phase that. Players enemy only attack. No, we don't really need that. So, continue. Those are going to be the options. Hope you are going to be pleased with that. There's some still some troop trees. I'm actually aiming to go for Knights of the Veil. Vale, uh, but perhaps perhaps there's something else. So free folks, as you can see, they now have armor. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure how good armor it is, but still, let's take a quick look. If we can, no, we can't. It's a bit of a shame. I, I wish that I could see the stats, though. That would be so, so much better. No. Inventory. My... No, this one. My health is like 5. But we cannot rest here. Uh, we'll have to be very careful because we are going to be attacked in a second. So, let's just go. There they are. 
Uh, my health now is at 58. Soon we will turn... There's three of them. There are 12 looters. Hmm. Looters are quite actually quite nice to be fighting. I'm not sure if it's right now, but... Um, hmm. There you go. We'll just fight. We'll just fight. We are taking the field. And hopefully... Hopefully we do not get killed. I thought I turned that animation off. Well, apparently not. Okay, everyone follow me. But the looks of it, the enemy is coming from this direction. It most likely is going to be uh, that difficult at start. Especially, I don't really have a good shield. Didn't I tell you to follow me, guys? Didn't I tell you to follow me? Thank you, just follow me. Okay, I want my infantry go away. I want my infantry guy at the front and my spearman a bit back. Uh, because he does have superior weapon reach. What on earth are you doing? Okay. Okay, so at least they are not coming all together towards me. Come here. Now, hopefully I can do something about these guys before they get in here. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, guys, come on. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Win, please win, please. Crying out loud, win. Um, spear, dude. Come on, Stark soldier. You're from the north, you can do this. Come on. Yes. <laughs> well, okay, that wasn't, um, wasn't something I did, but still, I count that as a victory. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we get some loot. We get three renown. We got oh wow, we got a we got a prisoner. We got ourselves a prisoner. Uh, we are wounded. Hopefully not injured. Um, we will take claim. Hmm. No gear. Okay, that means we are going to be very very careful then. Uh, Old Stone Bridge has nothing for you. You can go there. You can talk to some of the peasants. I've done so. They all tell you to leave me alone. Leave me alone. I don't need you. But still. Some farmers. We will not be attacking. We are not those kind of guys. Now we could get a few guys there. There's eight looters. Hmm. Eight looters. My guys are... I'm not sure, actually. Let's go. Um, they are completely healed. Okay, we need more trips. Not too many, not too many. I don't want to slow down my, my, my movement speed altogether. But uh, three would be fine. We need something... To stop... Them from killing our good guys. Now, I don't have any, there you go, any spotting or any anything else. So, surrender or die. Uh, we'll be leading our trips. I really need to look at that charge animation. Perhaps I didn't save. That could be a possibility, though. Um, let's go. Let's see. Infantry, go. Is anyone inf- Oh, there's only one infantry and the rest of them are spearmen. Let's pull the infantrymen back. Tell them to follow me, actually. I would like to have a better place to charge. At least you guys can, can see something then, right? So, spearmen. Hmm... 
Oh god, I probably will be knocked out again. Infantry, go. Oh wait, he wasn't mine. I thought he was mine. Everyone charge. Let's go. Um, I do have a fair amount in running. So, hopefully, I'm able to catch him, but it doesn't appear to be so. They are going to be escaping. Let's see, is it really that much faster? No, it really that isn't. I wish that daggers were a lot faster. If I press tap now right now, then uh, <laughs> it will just stop. Now that ain't good. Well, okay, they, he didn't do bad. It didn't do bad. Um, anyone killed? No, luckily not. Uh, two looters captured them. No one to be level up. Uh, let's get some better, better items here. Let's see, fifteen. No, no. I think we're just going to be taking it all and selling it, and perhaps salt ponds, something like that. Um, we don't have the trade skill actually to be doing something with the um. Uh, how do you call it again? Uh, with the salt trading, uh, it's too early on in the game. Uh, we are going to be taking the ladder to Stannis Baratheon. And there are three poachers there. But guys, uh, that's something for the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you're watching here on Twitch, then stay with me because we will continue right away.